uh, day two. So in on in day two, actually, we will do analysis uh, of of the of the data uh, generated by Jetscape. But uh, here, we would like to generate some. Uh, we need to have a uh, preparation for data generation from Jetscape because it can take time. So I'd like ask you to uh, generate uh, generate uh, events by Jetscape uh, during the weekend, but because some some portion of uh, event generation can take time. So here, uh, first we would like to uh, we would like to uh, learn Jetscape and, and, and uh, for a very simple uh event uh, event configuration so in this test run what we would like to do is so we would like to simulate uh just shower evolution uh using meta plus abt and here i set a uh, switching parameter switching virtuality parameter between these two uh module is set to 2gb and also we would like to have a have a have a have a, have a uh, jet initiating pattern whose uh PT is equal to 150 GB. And we will see, uh, uh, so with this from, from configuration, uh, we'd like to uh, generate just shower in, with Jetscape first. So let me, uh, let me uh, open my uh, command line. And also uh, now you can see uh, the readme file uh, for this session. So. Uh, you can see this uh, this uh, instruction uh, if you go to uh, GitHub for Jetscape, uh, Jet Summer School uh, 2021, and if you click uh, if you click uh, this uh, July uh, 23 Jet, and then you can see uh, you can see uh, this uh, this uh, uh, instruction for this session. So. Uh, so uh, first, uh, I'd like so here uh, the zero the preparation event generation is uh, is the work for today. So here we'd like to uh, generate hard scattering, uh, hard scattering with Jetscape for both PP and LED LED in the end. And then on the second day, we will use those generated event data and do analysis for jet to to get to calculate jet observable. Okay, so. Let uh, if you stop a uh, Docker container already, uh, please restart it. So here I haven't. Uh, so for in my computer, actually I haven't uh, haven't uh, started the Docker. So I'd like to uh, put this command. So here, uh, oh, by the way, so here uh, I have a uh, I have a, a name for the container. Uh, different from uh, other sessions, so my JS just session. So uh, I'd like I, because it's some, sometimes uh, uh, because sometimes uh, you, uh, you will see some error message. So uh, I just so to avoid it, I just wanted to have this new name. But if you want to have your own name, you can use it. Okay, so uh, everyone, uh, everyone started Docker already. Couple of checks so far. Uh, people are perhaps still catching it here. To five now. Work to twelve. Okay. I haven't seen new ones uh, mm -hmm. rolling quite so mm -hmm. recently, so I think I think you can continue. Yeah, thank you. So then, 
I'm not sure uh, when you have uh, when you get did get clone for this uh, Jetscape Summer School uh, repository. So uh, just in case, I'd like you to uh, do git pull. So please go to uh, please go to the directory of for the summer school uh, depository and then do the git pull in this way. So mine is the newest one, so I did not have any updates. So it, it's saying already update, but uh, please go to a summer school uh, folder and then do the git pull. So if you have finished it, uh, let me know. Okay, we've already got five checks here. We're up to eight now, seven. Uh, and folks are still catching up. Okay, we're up to 10 now. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, okay. I think you can proceed. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, okay, so I assume that you've already uh, updated the, uh, the repository for the summer school uh, package. So then next, I would like you to go to uh, the folder for this, uh, this session. So. Could you go to uh, uh, summer school uh, for uh, so? Could you go to Joe uh, twenty three jet uh, folder inside of the summer school two thousand twenty one, and then we actually we need to get a hydro profile before uh, before doing simulation. So and then there uh, there is a uh, there is a script to get uh, to download uh, the hydro profile. So please execute it. So. First, please go to this uh, July 23 get uh, folder and then please do source dot slash get hydro profile dot sh. And downloading is uh, uh, takes a bit time. So once you finish, please let me know. I think this can take a bit time. So far, we have one check and one X. So I think uh, downloads mm -hmm. are still ongoing. Yeah, I think so. It can take time. Actually, 
the server is closer closer to my place than the other people i think so <laughs> uh, we need to wait for why Okay, we're up to five checks, uh, but still mm -hmm. two X's. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're up to seven checks now. Uh, still two X's. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you with X's, uh, if you're having a technical issue, uh, I encourage you to ask in Slack. Uh, if we're moving just uh, too slow, uh, perhaps you can also give us the comment there. Thanks. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, people have. Having X means they have some trouble or just it's taking a lot of time. Right, yeah. So up to nine checks now, um, two Xs uh, or one X now, and, uh, yeah. and one request to slow down a little bit. So uh, I think okay. I want to <laughs> hang on for just a minute here. So the procedure itself is good. I yeah. Uh, I so just for brief review. So I started Docker, and I updated material in Summer School 2021 by doing Git pull, and then after. I went to uh, the folder July 23 jet, and then I execute this uh, this uh, this script uh, source dot slash get hydro profile dot sh, and with this script you can download a hydro profile from server, and then but it can take time because the size of the of uh, uh, data is not uh, not so small. So. Okay, uh, so we actually went from nine to eight checks. Uh, still only one X. Um, if uh, mm -hmm. so, I would say perhaps you can continue from here. Um, if you're still having issues, again, uh, either ask it in Slack or we can give you a break around the room if you need. Um, so I, I think yeah, you're okay to continue. Please. Okay, so uh, yeah, if you have any trouble, please uh, post uh, your problem on Slack or uh, uh, people there can uh, can help you. I think. Okay, so here I assume the the downloading hydro profile has been done. So next. Uh, I'd like, so I don't know whether you've already done or not, but I'd like to, uh, I'd like to build a Jetscape with LVT table, music and ISS for, uh, for event generation in this session. Okay, uh, so please go to uh, the Jetscape uh, folder 
and you can find external package uh, folder. So please go there first. And then do LS and then uh, please confirm whether you've already uh, if, whether you've already downloaded uh, music here. I okay, so make sure whether you have music in this uh, folder, and also uh, we need to have a MVD table. So make please make sure whether you have this MVD table folder in the in this uh, external package folder and also ISS. So ISS get, uh, uh, so I'm sorry, not this one. Uh, you need to make sure whether, yeah, this guy is in the directory or not. So please make sure whether these three guys can be found inside of the directory of the uh, Jetscape external packages. Once you have confirmed, uh, please let me know. Okay, so if you miss some, yeah, if you miss some packages, so actually you can uh, download them by uh, execute uh, by executing uh, these scripts. So if you did if if you did not find LBT table, please try the first command here. If you did not find uh, music in the folder, please apply this uh, this script. And uh, for ISS, yeah, please do, uh, please uh, put this command on your command line and then get, you can get as ISS. So we're up to nine uh, check marks here. Uh, so I think uh, you can proceed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of you have already uh, created build directory. So in Jetscape, so please go there. But uh, my case, actually, I haven't, uh, I haven't created it, so I need to create it. So, in, so please first go to Jetscape folder. And then, yeah, for, for, for my case, actually, I need to create build folder. But if you have already uh, created a build folder, please go there, so build. And then uh, actually next, uh, we'd like to uh, compile the code. So with CMake command here, you can find, and so CMake with option uh, D use music on and D use ISS on. So please do CMake with these options. And then if you have any, if you do not have any trouble, you will get message, messages like this. And then, yeah, right. Uh, if you do not have any problem in CMake, yeah, you can get this message and then once you success the CMake, please do uh, make J4. So uh, please uh, do this. So, and then uh, please start uh, compiling the code. So, and once you have finished compiling, please let me know. And uh, again, it can take, uh, it, it can take time.
Okay, so we already have three check marks so far, but uh, mm -hmm. I think many people are still compiling. Okay, now we're up to six. Okay, so we're up to seven now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually mine has not been completed yet. So <laughs> yeah, actually I need to wait for finishing my compiling.
mine has just finished, so how about? Okay, uh, we are up to eight uh, checks now. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody has not finished compiling and then it's, it's it's still under compilation. Uh, please let me know with uh, this X or something. <laughs> we have not received any X's yet. Mm -hmm. Can I? So I think you might be okay to continue then. Okay, so then uh, let's run Jetscape. So here I put a command to run Jetscape. So run Jetscape and XML file and the XML file can be found inside of the folder of config in Joe 23 jet folder. So please copy this command or even you can you can find uh, uh, if you can find a uh, uh, find uh, if find XML yeah you can uh, you can type the path for uh, the XML file and then please run Jetscape. so dot slash run Jetscape. Uh, uh, the slash that the slash summer school 20, uh, 2021 July 23 jet config and then here uh, you need to put the name of the XML file the XML file is just get user let let fields test run dot XML so test run please choose this XML and then run the jetscape so once you have done the the uh, once you have finished uh, running jetscape please let me know if you see this message and then you've done. I think it, this, this can be done uh, very quickly because uh, just one run we've done. So this is the test run uh, with Mata plus LBT with switching parameter Q is equal to uh, two GEB. We have four check marks so far. I think folks are still working mm -hmm. on it. We're up to six. Mm -hmm. Good. And now to eight. Yeah. So then uh, next, uh, I'd like you to uh, execute this file dot reader test so please do like this so dot reader test and then run it and also it can be done uh, very quickly it does not take a lot of time dot dot reader test please try this command and then yeah if you if you run it properly, you can see these outputs. Yeah, uh, let me know if you have finished running dot uh, reader test. Yeah.
Okay, so we have six checks so far. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like a few folks are having some difficulty with the seg fault um, in the previous step. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But okay, we're up to seven checks now. Okay, so the next part is a bit tricky, but if you uh, if you can uh, not follow the next step, actually it does not affect the latter part of uh, this session, so you don't need to worry about. It. But uh, I think I want to you to try uh, to install a package outside of the Docker. So please first go outside of the Docker and access the, uh, please go back to uh, the, uh, please go back to the directory where you have built folder. So I think uh, if you uh, try uh, the command to uh, start Docker uh, with this command. So I think you can find uh, the folder for the, uh, the Jescape Docker here. And then you can find the escape uh, build here. And then uh, I'd like to ask you to uh, install one uh, software called Glass Builds. So if you have already known Glass Builds and, and also you have, you've already installed it, you don't need to do anything here, uh, but uh, it can be installed very easily. So if you, you are using Mac OS and if you are a big fan of homebrew, you can you can you can try this command. If you are using Mac port, so you can try this command. Uh, Ubuntu Debian, so you can use uh, apt to get this uh, software, GlassBiz, uh, Fedora, Red Hat, Cent OS. Uh, yeah, you can use YAML install to get this uh, this software. So please install it and then once you have done, uh, please let me know. And yeah, uh, I recommend you to do it outside of the Docker. And if you fail, uh, actually, it, it will not affect uh, your uh, uh, your work. Uh, in the latter part of this session, so you don't need to worry about too much. But uh, so we have three checks so far. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, we're so I think, yeah. Thank you. So please make sure, yeah, you are in just get build folder outside of the Docker, and then uh, please uh, use this command my uh, dot my test dot gb. Actually, it's generated, uh, but uh, it it was generated in the previous step, and and. And, and, and then uh, with this command, you can create a output pdf.pdf. .pdf. So I'd like to uh, type this here, so dot my test dot gbt the pdf or pdf, uh, output pdf pdf. And if you, if you can find all output pdf pdf, please open it and then, uh, and please open it with a build, uh, with your PDF viewer. And I think you will find this kind of PDF file. Did you find this kind of tree diagram? I need to show the command. The command is this one, and it should be done inside of build folder outside of the book. And you Four will find, so yeah. You will find this kind of glass 
P, uh, in the PDF file. So we're up to six, so I think we're still waiting for two folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. and now we're to the... Okay, good. So uh, let me briefly explain what we've just obtained. So this is an uh, example of the output PDF.pdf. .pdf. So here, actually, uh, you can see the in the history of the jet shower. So here you can see a single arrow on the left hand side, and then this is the initial pattern, and then it split into two patterns, and then you can see split, 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 split. So actually, you, it it's a tree diagram uh, indicating uh, the showering structure of the jet shower. Okay, then the here, so actually you can see different colors, black, blue, and green. So actually they has meaning. So black arrows, uh, patterns taken, uh, taken care by matter. Uh, so it means the virtuality of their particle is greater than two GeV in our test run simulation. And the blue arrows uh, patterns taken care by LBT in this test simulation and the virtuality is smaller than Q, Q naught. And the green arrows indicate uh, holes. So they are particles pick up from the medium. So in the end, we need to subtract their energy and momentum from the final state particle list. So uh, that is why we wanted to keep uh, information of these holes by, by, uh, with these green arrows. So these are essentially what we have obtained in the test run. So, so here we, uh, uh, we shot a single uh, pattern with 150 uh, uh, 50 GeV uh, pattern, and then they split, they collide with the medium, and then you can see this uh, showering structure. And also you can see which uh, which energy loss module take uh, take care of those patterns, and also you can see the information of the holes. Okay, uh, okay, and then uh, sorry, I'm running out of time. So, so here uh, I'd like you to have more risk very simulation with Jetscape. So here uh, I I I put uh, goals of this uh, hands-on session. So here we would like to run Jetscape and simulate hard scattering events. And uh, we generate hard pattern shower in both PP and ladder collision. And for PP, we let evolve pattern without interaction with the medium. And for ladder case, we include interaction with the medium and uh, simulate evolution of jet shower. And uh, so here, this is what we want to uh, do uh, today. So day one, uh, but and the, and the next uh, session, so uh, 26th, uh, we will analyze data generated today and study the medium effect on jet. So in next day, we will do reconstruction of the jet uh, from particle in the final state in Jetscape and we will calculate just spectrum, just subtraction of observable. And we see, we compare result between PP and Lele and see the medium effect later. But here uh, today, we'd like to focus on this part. We would like to run Jetscape and we'd like to simulate a hard scattering event. So here I briefly, I'd like to briefly explain what we are going to do. So we first, uh, 
So, so uh, in the simulation uh, in, in today's session. So here we, uh, we, we generate hard scattering at 5.02 TeV uh, nucleus nuclear collision by PCR gun. So uh, this is a schematic picture of hard scattering between two nucleons uh, adapted from Sangyeon's talk. And here, uh, this is the part uh, where we can apply PQCD calculation by relying on uh, factorization theorem. So actually here, uh, we generated only hat scattering with uh, this PT hat. So PT hat of uh, exchanged uh, particle, uh, exchanged particles PT uh, is, uh, P, uh, is, the, is the PT hat. And we uh, we generate a scattering with uh, scattering with PT between 100 to 160 GeV. So and and here we generated the same number of hard scattering both for PP and then here I'd like to note that uh, here uh, we are saying event number. But it it does not, it does not mean the number of uh, number of collision events uh, in experiment. So here we are generating uh, the same amount of uh, events uh, of hard scatterings for this hard scattering for PP and LED. So and to do it actually, uh, if you see X, uh, so inside of XML, uh, we need to have this portion. So in had we need to put PCR gun module and with PCR gun. So uh, we can set the value for this PT hat. So the lower limit is 100, so 100 here, and upper limit is 160, 160 here. And uh, uh, we are gen we are we are going to simulate uh, simulate uh, uh, five TeV event. So I, 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 we put uh, five zero to zero here. Uh, here, so actually I've already prepared XML file, so you don't need to modify anything in XML file. But uh, here I'd like to show what I, I, I did in the XML file. So the, this setting can be done with this, uh, with this XML. Then, uh, so this is the, uh, this is the head scattering generation. Oh, any questions here? Yeah, sorry to briefly interrupt. Uh, we're, we're running out of time here. So if you could try and look for ah. a, a way to, since we're ah, already okay, uh, so, at noon Eastern. So if you can find okay. a way to try and find a concluding point, that'd be great. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So uh, then, the, the, and we we'd like to simulate two different simulation mines for PP. In PP, we use matter without medium effect that can be done uh, with X. So you can you can if you see this uh, example XML, you can see this kind of description. It corresponds to the uh, the case where we do not have a uh, medium effect. So here you can see in medium vacuum, uh, in, in vacuum flag is uh, on. And also uh, we are going to simulate a uh, uh, little case. In this case, we need to put both. Uh, so, and here we'd like to have both matter and LBT. So we need to put uh, matter and LBT description in XML in this way. So you can find that this XML in, uh, in config file. So, so let me uh, let me try uh, to do that here. So okay, so please go back to build folder inside the Docker. So please, uh, so if you have a uh, generated output PDF file outside of Docker, so please go back to the uh, go back to the build folder inside of the Docker. So here. You can you, you can confirm it by doing this. So home Jetscape user Jetscape build and please run. Please try this command. So dot run Jetscape some uh, and uh, this XML. So XML file Jetscape user pp fields dot XML inside of this uh, session uh, the config folder in for in the folder of for this session. So this command please try, and then. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, the, the we seem to have yeah. lost your screen here. Oh, really? Ah, sorry. All right. Oh, right. Here. Uh, can I see my screen now? Yeah, we can. Yeah. So please go back to the build folder inside the Jetscape, inside the Docker. So 
I think you, uh, some of you went to outside of uh, outside of uh, Docker and and generate the PDF. But please go back to uh, inside the Docker and go to the build directory, and then please try to run uh, this command. So the run pp five teb event and dot uh, slash run jetscape and with XML file. So jetscape user pp fields dot XML inside of the config folder for the folder for this session, so jet session. So please type this in your command, on your command line for this uh, Jetscape Docker inside, and then please run it. And then uh, once you have done, I think you will see this uh, message from Jetscape. And I think this event generation has been done within uh, uh, roughly around uh, one minute. It, it can be done within a minute. So once you have uh, obtained uh, this message from Jetscape for this PP run, please let me know. And then actually this is the last uh, step we need to finish uh, today. Okay, so we already have four checks, five checks so far. Uh, mm -hmm. So hang on for just a bit more, I suppose. We're getting there. Okay, we're up to seven. Okay. Uh, okay, got it. Uh, so then, uh, so actually, you have already done the uh, event generation for PP collisions. So, but we'd like to see the medium effect in LLA collision. So, we need to generate events for LLA, also for LLA collision. But it can take time. So, I'd like uh, give it give it you for as a homework. So, uh, actually, what you need to do is not very different from what we have done. So, just you need to type this command dot run Jetscape with different XML. So Jetscape user, let, let fields XML, and then uh, you can start running uh, Jetscape uh, event generation for uh, let, let So please do it during uh, weekend, and then uh, please uh, keep the output folder, output, uh, output, uh, output, uh, please keep the output files. So output file name is, Test out the final state head on dot dot. Please keep this file. Uh, we will use this file in the next uh, class. And uh, uh, and also you can see now see this file. So test out pp final state head on dot that because it's because this is the output file uh, for pp collision we, you've just generated. So please find it and then next you need to do uh, do uh, put put this command in your command line and please generate a little collision events during weekend and also you can see uh, optional homework here so if you are interested in changing some parameters in meta and lbt uh, you can try it and you can run in the same in the, you can run the jetscape in the same way as uh, here uh, but do not, don't forget to change the name of the output file, otherwise it will be overwritten. So please be careful. So actually that's it. So any question for your homework here? If you have any question for homework, please ask me now. And uh, this event generation can take more than 30 minutes. So you need to have time. Yeah. So I'm not seeing any hands raised here. So I think it mm -hmm. might be clear. Okay. Okay, that, that, that's it from me today. So yeah, next uh, session, uh, we're gonna use uh, generated data and we will reconstruct JET and also we calculate uh, just spectrum and also uh, just substructure observable. So that's it, thanks. Okay, uh, very good. Thank you very much, Suki. Um, so I think that that uh, brings to an end our session for today. Uh, thanks everyone for your participation um, and uh, have a nice weekend and we will see you again next week. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bye-bye.
Bye.